Hey everyone, just wanted to make a short video on incorporating uh, Windows Media Center into uh, your home theater. Uh, what you're looking at right now is a 50 inch plasma um, hooked up to a simple home computer, I uh, custom built. Uh, I put a fancy, fancy case, a uh, piano black case, just to kind of match the TV. Uh, we're running in full 1920 by 1080 resolution on the TV itself. And uh, basically, it's a home computer. The internet's hooked up. Uh, everything works. We can use the internet. We can surf the internet. I have a wireless mouse and keyboard. Um, just let me show you a couple things. Uh, we increased the size of the text in uh, the web browser. So when you're uh, sitting on the couch, you can read all your emails, surf the net, and not have to strain your brain too badly uh, trying to see what's going on. But uh, I'm going to quickly get out of here. And what we came here for is Windows Media Center. I'm just going to click on it, Windows Media Center, and I can actually control Windows Media Center, everything on it with uh, the Logitech Harmony One remote. Uh, included that into the system, controls everything in Windows Media Center um, without having to use a keyboard or a mouse or anything. I do have a wireless mouse and keyboard, but I prefer the remote itself. So basically, this is what it looks like uh, Windows Media Center. It's uh, included with uh, all um, Vista systems from home premium and above. I have a couple options. I have a pictures library, a music library on here. I have my TV and movie shows. Um, I have power DVD to watch Blu-ray HD DVDs. Um, we have in the computer itself, we have uh, a Blu-ray HD DVD player inside the computer. So you can play uh, all forms of high def DVDs. We also have a card reader inside the computer just to give it a little more uh, use in the living room um, basically for everything we can throw at it. But I want to show you a couple things in uh, the media center here and they're pretty cool. First thing I want to show you is the TV and movies side of everything. Uh, we'll start here and we'll just click on TV and movies and I got a couple folders set up documentaries, movies and TV shows. TV series. Uh, first thing I want to show you is our movies folder. We have uh, a couple categories once you click into the movies folder. HD movies, we have DVD movies, uh, my home movies, and some kids movies. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is just the normal, normal DVD movies. Once you click into the DVD movies, they're all in uh, cover form. All this data gets populated by itself if your computer is hooked up to the internet and you spelt the name of the movie correctly. You put it into your folder and uh, Windows Media Center will populate all this cover art automatically. Um, I wouldn't have did this at all if I had to search for the pictures. I don't have that much time. But for example, say we want to watch Zoolander. We'd click on Zoolander and uh, we have the whole background. This is the page that you uh, go into once you click on the, the DVD cover. And uh, basically what we have going on here is a little movie description in the bottom corner and uh, it gives you a little description of the movie and if you click off the general tab and onto the actors tab it'll actually tell you the actors that are in the movie. Um, on the other side of the screen uh, we have uh, at the top corner we have the title of the movie, the year it came out and on the far uh, left hand top corner we have a clock and uh, we also have the play button. We have a resume button and a refresh button. If we want to watch the movie, we just simply click on play and as fast as it is, that's it. Bang. The movie's going to start playing. Um, if you want to fast forward on the, on this is all controlled by remote. Um, everything is uh, basically touch the fast forward button once each time it skips ahead 30 to 45 seconds. Um, it'll skip faster the longer you hold it. Um, that's as simple as it is. I'm just going to stop this and exit. Uh, once you uh, exit, you have uh, to hit back on the remote and it goes right back to the main movies folder and we're back scrolling through all the DVD movies that we have. Um, once you've actually watched the movie and clicked it and stopped, this uh, little check mark appears in the top left hand cover of the DVD. Uh, that's actually telling you that you have watched the movie and it automatically gets put there after you've uh, watched it and clicked stop the check mark will appear saying you've watched it. Um, we're going to hit exit and we'll go to the HD movies. HD movies, they're the same thing, uh, same cover art, scroll through them. If you want to watch the movie, 
Um, before I go there, actually, right on the cover, in the bottom, uh, bottom right-hand corner of the DVD, it actually has a little 1080 displayed. That populates automatically if uh, it's detected as a 1080p um, video. So um, it's automatically put there. If we click onto the 1080p video, it works the same way as all the other videos. The background gets populated, the play button's in the corner. Um, if we hit uh, play, away it goes and it'll start playing. Um, it's displayed in full 1080p video. It is um, 5.1 Dolby Digital or 7.1 Dolby Digital, whatever you have for a system in your uh, home theater. Uh, the board itself on the computer, uh, it has an HDMI port built in, onboard video, NVIDIA 8200 HDCP compliant, uh, so it will play all of uh, the Blu-ray movies full 1080p. Uh, it's connected to the TV with an HDMI cord. Um, it's basically the best you can get out of your computer for uh, resolution. Um, let's just uh, click stop here and I'm going to show you. Uh, once you click stop on all the movies, this is what you get displayed. You have done, you have resume, you have a restart, and a delete movie. Um, you can delete the movie if you're done watching it, you can restart it, resume it, or you hit done. And once you've hit done, it takes you back into the main page of the movie. You hit back one more time and you're, and you're back to the movie selection. And you see once you've hit done, it reappears the check mark in the top of the DVD saying you've watched it. Uh, let's move over quickly to um, to our TV series folder. If we want to watch any TV series, we just uh, click on the TV series, and here are our TV episodes. Uh, all of our seasons, everything is here that we uh, have been uh, recording and uh, downloading off of uh, various uh, torrent sites. If uh, we decide we want to watch, say, 24, we click on 24. We have all of our seasons displayed at the bottom. I've only have six seasons of 24. If we want to watch uh, something in season one, we highlight season one, click it. And once we get into season one, this is what it's looking like for our TV series. We have uh, all of our TV episodes in vertical scroll mo mode on the side. And as we click to each TV episode, we get a little description of what the TV episode is going to be on the right hand side of the page. And you can kind of read up on it before you uh, watch the episode itself. So it's pretty neat. Uh, once you uh, pick the episode you want to watch, and they're all displayed nicely, so episode one is uh, displayed as episode one, and you can kind of go through the whole series without missing anything. Once you want to find the once you find the episode you want to watch, click on it, and uh, it's as quick as that. It'll start playing, and um, basically everything you get now for your movie rips off of uh, the net are all HD rips off of somebody's satellite dish so uh, they're great quality they're great sound um, very simple to do uh, we're just gonna click stop hit done and we're gonna exit back to the main page and uh, all of our episodes are the same way uh, we can go into each one all of our seasons one big collection and uh, click on them as we go um, all this data remember does get populated all on its own um, you just gotta let uh, let the internet. If you have a fast internet connection, it will uh, it'll motor through really quick and grab all of your cover art and uh, populate it all by itself. So um, pretty handy, pretty uh, pretty good looking, and uh, as quick as you uh, click on the movie. If there's no background displayed, like now it's just displaying the the DVD cover. Just let it sit here for 20, 30 seconds, and it will populate the background in the back and uh, it'll show you uh, how quickly everything kind of works. The faster the internet connection, there it is. So it takes basically 20 to 30 seconds. If you have a really fast internet connection, it'll happen a little bit quicker. Um, and basically that's what it is. Home Media Center um, included in Vista.